All right, so I have not done a full review of the Geralt of Rivia skin just yet. And before I do that, I'm going to do that in a separate video. I wanted to cover the Witcher's Silver Sword. So first and foremost, this is one of the hardest items to obtain in Fortnite history. But at the same time, it's free. So I did two videos covering how to get this. I'll link both of these in the description as well as a pinned comment. But first, you have to sign up for the School of Llama quests. And it's all based on this website, but you do the challenges in-game. So that's the first step. You sign up for the School of Llama rewards. Number two, you have to complete Path 1 of the School of Llama challenges. And I think it took me a good six to eight hours. But like I said, I did do a full guide on how to obtain it. So that's what this video is about. So if you have the battle pass, you can get this sword right here, the Witcher's Steel Sword, because Geralt is technically the quote, secret skin of chapter four, season one. So this one is unlockable by challenges from the battle pass. And again, this one right here, the Witcher's Silver Sword is from the School of Llama challenges. So he has two pickaxes. This one says basic, but effective. This one says, especially made for monsters. So that's fine, we've seen people with two pickaxes before, but did you know that his backbling, the weapons of the Witcher, is actually reactive to both of these? And that's a first in Fortnite. I don't think we've ever had a backbling that interacts with two separate items before. So I'll prove it to you, but as you can see, the backbling does hold two swords and people were awfully confused at first because when you do the challenges here, you can see he's got that compound bow and both swords, but you only get this sword. And this one is interactable with this. So when you withdraw this one, the Witcher's Steel Sword, it removes it from the sheath, but then there's still another sword in there and people were confused by that. Well, it turns out it's this one, the Silver Sword. So depending on which pickaxe you run, he will withdraw that from the backlink. How cool is that? So I'm going to prove that to you here. I'm going to run this brand new one. Again, this is from the School of Llama. And I'm going to have my son Jack run the Battle Pass one. And we'll show you. Okay, so here we go. Now, as you can see, both swords are in the backlink. So again, I have the newer sword. So when I withdraw the sword, you can see it comes out the left. It's the leftmost sword on the back blade. Now when Jack withdraws, you can see it's the rightmost one. So now both swords are out and as you can see, mine came out of the left sheath and his came out of the right. How cool is that? So depending on what weapon you are currently equipped, that's which one he's gonna take out. How crazy is that? The first interactable back bling with two items. I really, really enjoy this. Pretty nice touch. Now, if only we had the compound bow. So here's the normal pickaxe and there's no markings on it. It's just a silver sword. It does have the gleam that goes up it, but compared to this one, this one's way better. You can see the gold markings on it and it still has the gleam as well. How about in the dark? Oh yeah, you can really see it stand out. Look at that, that's phenomenal. Whereas Jack's pickaxe is just silver. So you can see the contrail on Jack's is silver. Whereas mine is that golden color. So it looks like the splash is the same regardless of pickaxe though. We're pretty much in sync there. Nice. So there you go. Clear as day that both pickaxes are interactable with the same back blade. Really, really cool. Unfortunately, it does not appear to be reactive at all. It just has these nice markings on it and that's it so is it worth the grind from the school of llama i'd say so just because it's the cooler of the two pickaxes and it's always nice to have the complete set just in case you want to swap out but just be warned the grind is pretty tedious on the school of llama challenges however you do have until march 10th to complete the challenges so plenty of time it's not like you have to rush to do it in one day like i did i just had to do that for my video so that's it. So overall, a really, really clean pickaxe, but it's the back bling that's the highlight here. The first interactable back bling with two separate pickaxes. Really cool. There you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.